Today I will be explaining 17.2 capacitors. Now, a capacitor is a device that is used to store electrical potential energy. How is an energized charge capacitor useful? The energy can be reclaimed from the capacitor when needed for a specific application. Now, capacitance. Capacitance is the ability of a conductor to store energy, to store energy in the form of electrically separated charges. Now here we have three different situations. The first one is before charging. Now there is no net charge on the plates. So it's like plus minus minus plus plus minus minus plus plus minus minus plus. Now the second situation which is during charging. During charging. Now there is small net charge on each plate. So there is one negatively charged object on the right plate. Now the third situation which is after charging there is greater net charge on each plate so as you notice here that there is plus minus minus plus minus minus plus minus minus and the, on the other side or on the right side of the plate it's plus 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 so during each stage as you can see that the, the negative charges move to the left side of the plate so they move here and the same out here so there's only left one negative charge uh, one uh, charge that is negative and then the third situation here they all move to the left side of the plate so in conclusion when connected to a battery the plates of a parallel plate becomes oppositely charged so the formula this includes this concludes that the formula of a capacitance is c equals to q over delta v and the unit is farad which is f so q is the charge on the plates and the delta v is the potential energy difference now we have another formula c equals to the permittivity times the area over the distance now what is the a the a is the area of the plates the d is the distance between the plates and the uh, permittivity this is called the permittivity of a vacuum which is constant and it equals to 8.85 .8 times 10 to the power of negative 12 c squared per newton dot meter squared so c is directly proportional to the a so as the capaci capacitance increases the area increases and then the other one is c is inversely proportional to the d which is the distance so as the capacitance, capacitance increases, the distance decreases. And as the capacitance decreases, the distance increases. So as you can see here, these are the two plates. So here we have negative and here we have positive. Now, a charged capacitor stores electrical potential energy because it requires work to move charges through a circuit to the opposite plates of a capacitor. The work done on these charges is a measure of the transfer energy. Now moving on to electrical uh, electrical potential energy. So we have two formulas. The PE equals to half times Q times delta V. The Q is the charge on the plate and the delta V is the final potential difference. Now the second formula is PE equals to half times C which is the capacitor times the delta V squared. Now moving on to the practices. Now number one. A 4 microfarad capacitor is connected to a 12 volts battery. So the givens are the capacitor, which is 4 microfarad, which is going to be 4 times 10 to the power of negative 6 farad. Then the delta V equals to 12 volts. Now let's go to A. A, what is the question? What is the charge on each plate of the capacitor? They want us to find the charge, which is Q. But how? We have the form, which is C equals to Q over delta V. So we're going to cross, multiply. So the Q would be C times delta V. Q will equal to C times the delta V. So the C is 4 times 10 to the power of negative 6 times the 12. So the Q would be 4.8 times 10 to the power of negative 3 column. So that's the unit, column. Now B. If the same capacitor is connected to a 1.5 volts battery, how much electrical potential energy is stored? So they want us to find the PE. So we're going to use the formula PE equals to half times C times delta V squared. So half times the C, which is 4 times 10 to the power of negative 6 
find the delta v, uh, the delta v which is 12 sorry which is 1.5 because they want us to find here this is the given 1.5 squared so the PE will be 4.5 times 10 to the power of negative 6 sorry to the, to the power of positive 6 joules so the form uh, so the unit here is joules So now let's move on to question two. A parallel plate capacitor has a charge of six microcoulomb when charged by a potential difference of 1.25 volts. So now let's take out the givens. So the Q, which is six microcoulomb, which is six times 10 power of negative six coulomb, and the potential difference, which is delta V, which is 1.25 volts. So A, they want us to find the capacitor. So C equals to Q over Q is 6 times 10 to the power of negative 6 over the delta V, which is 1.25. So the capacitor would be C would be 4.8 times 10 to the power of negative 6. And the unit is farad. Now let's go to B. How much electrical potential energy, the PE, is stored when this capacitor is connected to a 1.5 volt battery? So we're going to use the formula PE equals to half times C times delta V squared. So half times C, which is 4.8 times 10 to the power of negative 6 times the volt, which is 1.5 squared. So the PE will be 5.4 times 10 to the power of negative 6 joules. So that's the answer. Now we move on to the third question, which is, a capacitor has a capacitance, uh, a capacitance of 2 um, PF. So remember that the P is negative 12. So that's how we're going to convert. So the givens are... C equals to 2 PF, so 2 times 10 to the power of negative 12 farad. Now A, what potential difference would be required to store 18 PC? So the other given we have is the Q, because they gave us C, which is colon. So the unit helps you to identify what they want. So Q equals to 18 PC, so 18 times 10 to the power of negative 12 column. Now A, what potential difference? So they want us to find the delta V. So how are we going to find delta V? Now remember we said that the formula C equals to Q over delta V. So now we want to find delta V. So cross multiply, so it will be Q equals to C delta V. So again, divide by C, so delta V will be C over Q. Sorry, Q over C. Q over C. So delta V is Q over C. So the Q is 18 times 10 to the power of negative 12 over the C, which is 2 times 10 to the power of negative 12. So the delta V will be 9 volts. Now B. How much charge is stored when the potential difference is 2.5 volts? So they want us to find the Q. So Q would be C times the delta V. So the C would be 2 times 10 to the power of negative 12. And the delta V here they mentioned is 2.5 volts. So times 2.5. So the Q would be 5 times 10 to the power of negative 12 coulomb. Now let's move on to number four. You are asked to design a parallel plate capacitor having a capacitance of one farad and a plate separation of one millimeter. Calculate the required surface area of each plate. Is this a realistic size for a capacitor? So we take out the givens. 
So this T equals to one farad and the distance is one milliliters. So which is times 10 to the power of negative three meters. So we're gonna use the formula. They want us to find the area. So we're gonna use the formula C equals to AD over the permittivity to A over D. So when we cross multiply, so we find out the A would be CD over the permittivity. So C, which is one times the distance, which is one times 10 to the power of negative three, which is the permittivity, which is always given. So the permittivity is, remember, 8.85 times 10 to the power of negative 12. Just to make sure, again, so yeah, c squared per newton dot meter squared. So 8.85 times 10 to the power of negative 12. So the a will be 1.13 times 10 to the power of 3 meters squared. Remember, the unit is meter squared for the area. And that's it for this section, and I hope you understand.